So good morning everyone, welcome back, thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is today, today's guidance message. Okay, so I am delving into the dreams of Gaia Tarot deck again today. Um, still really loving these, such powerful messages and I'm believing we do really need those powerful messages at this moment. We just need that little extra boost, something really deep and meaningful to come through to us um, that's going to help us on our paths at this time. So I'm going to call on my angels, guides, keeps the light. Please guide me at this time. Which message, above all messages, is in the highest good for the collective to receive today? Which one message, above all messages, is in the highest good for us to receive today? Okay, so let's dig in. Let's see what we have. Just one message, please. What one message, above all messages? Oops, that's actually two. So just one message, please. Make it clear. One message, please. There we go. So we have card number four, the mother. Okay, so that's quite a... Uh, quite green we have the tortoise there which is all about slow and steady we have the snake which is all about healing it's about shedding the skins etc um she's also pregnant so it's about fertility so this i'm feeling has got quite a strong message for quite a few people maybe little bits here and little bits there for everyone so we will dig in have a look and there we go. I'll hold it there for you while I read from the book. So number four, the mother. The key words are unconditional love, intimacy, nurturing, compassion, abundance, growth, fruitfulness, acceptance, fear, control and outcomes. Her womb is the void in which new life forms, safe, nurtured and protected by her body. She is the earthly universe in which a cosmic soul takes on physical form. There is no there is no more sacred or intimate bond than that of a mother and child. She is the mother, nurturer, protector and creator. She is the very essence of non-sexual intimacy, patience, compassion, unconditional love and forgiveness willing to place the needs of her children before her own. Nor is that love reserved only for a child born of her womb, for the highest ideal of the mother is a woman who extends her unconditional love to all who dwell in the world around her, without question of whether or not that love is deserved. The mother gives without hesitation or reservation. She is both teacher and guide, encouraging her children to reveal and nurture their talents. In this way, she gifts them with healthy levels of self-belief, self-esteem and confidence. The mother is also symbolic of a fertile and abundant mind, a mind where ideas take root. The mother is willing to nurture those ideas and provide what is necessary in order for them to grow and blossom. When this card appears in the present position, it says the mother, when she appears in the present position, symbolises potential and abundance. Now is the time to allow ideas to germinate, take root and grow. Cultivate them, nurture them and be excited and passionate as you take your ideas from conception to manifestation. Love them and yourself enough to act and follow through and do it without expectation or condition. Do it without trying to control the outcome. When you do something just because you love what you are doing, there are no failures or disappointments. Instead, there are opportunities to learn and grow. So a potential blockage, if we hold this in the reverse position. Potential blockage. The reversed mother can signal the presence of an aspect of self, our own self or that of another, 
that is devouring and cruel and uses psychological or emotional manipulation to instill guilt in her child for not meeting her expectations. When her disappointment is used as a weapon and a means to control and bide her child to her, the natural process of individualization may be kept from occurring. Receiving this reverse card asks you to ask if you have fallen into a pattern of using emotional manipulation to control others. Is your hurt or disappointment genuine or do you act in a deliberate manner to instill guilt or remorse in order to manipulate people into meeting your expectations of them? Another aspect of the reversed mother is evidenced by this who are willing to give their all and everything to others. These people seem consumed by a need to be needed and feel that it is their, that it is their place and purpose in life to fix every wrong and make everyone happy. They get involved because if they do not, the situation will not be resolved and leaving a situation unresolved is not something they can tolerate. These people may be perpetually cooking, cleaning or mothering others instead of allowing those they mother to learn to be responsible for themselves. Have you involved yourself in a situation that is really none of your concern because you want people around you to be happy? Do you have... Do you have a tendency to offer unasked for advice? Do you often act as peacemaker or intermediary without being asked? Do you live your life constantly doing for others what they are capable of doing themselves? Do you live through others? Do you give up your time to do for them what you should be doing for yourself? The reverse mother suggests that these things, while done with love, are still aspects of controlling mother of a controlling mother because they are they can prevent others from standing on their own two feet resolving their own conflicts and becoming independent moreover they are tasks performed to the detriment of nurturing yourself often the very advice given to others is not adhered to by the person giving it because they are perpetually in service to others and neglect themselves. If the mother appears reversed, she symbolises a situation that you need to step away from, or a relationship where you are exerting undue control or influence. Let go of your need to control or to be needed, and ask yourself why you are compelled to behave in this manner. Sit back, put your feet up, and relax. Allow those around you to sort out their own dramas and pick up their own dirty laundry for a change, or you will never learn how and will always expect it sorry, or they will never learn how and will always expect it to be done for them. Okay, so a bit of advice for those mums out there that are pampering to all their children's whims. Let them stand on their own two feet. Um it's never too young to start them on doing their own a little bit of housework putting their laundry into the wash bin, um, pulling the duvet over. Even if they don't do it perfectly, let them have a try. Don't be that mother that is constantly hovering, who feels that by doing things for them that they are needed and that they will always be unconditionally loved, etc. That's not your role. Your not role is actually to bring your children up so that they can actually cope for themselves. In addition, we do have, um, when it was in the upright position, about you taking control of your life, following your dreams and doing what it is that you, you feel happy about. It's about really finding something that sets your heart aglow, something that sets your soul singing and following it and doing what is good for you. Nurturing yourself as well as nurturing those around you, but being in a position where you know the boundaries which are in place and you know when you have overstepped the mark. OK, so that is your message today. Take care. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.